Hey all, Russ here, RV TV, welcome. Check it out, I gotta make a left here. We are in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> North Dakota. This little town up here, it's called Regen. And guess what? They got a really cool road we're gonna go explore, like, right now. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start, and it's called the Castle, Enchanted Castle, something like that. And I've read about this for a couple days now. Here it is. Look at it. Get parked. Walk around. It's supposed to be the world's largest collection of scrap metal uh, sculptures over a 30-mile stretch of a road. Here's the hotel. I'm not going in, but this little hotel in a small little town in North Dakota. And they got one big story about artwork. All right, well, let's take a little walk. My goodness, look at this thing. <laughs> oh boy, coat of arms. Goes with the castle, I guess. An old boom truck painted green. That's probably how he built it. This is done by a retired school teacher. That's one old brick building there. That must have been the old school. They got a water tower, playground. My goodness. All right, well, there's supposed to be seven stops along that road. So let's go find them. This is cool. get turned around back here there's the hotel nothing real fancy but this is going to be kind of unique if it's like uh, pictures are online couldn't ask for a better day warm but no wind yay Cut through the town of Regent here, small town USA. Got the flag out, yay! All these towns, little churches, got a tank, <laughs> park with a tank, American Legion there. You think everyone knows everybody here? Heck yeah. There's a local gas station. I'm sure they got grain silos somewhere. There's the saloon. Go have a cold one. Cool. Right down, there's right off to the right, about a block, there's a RV park. Kind of a self serve one. Look at that co-op food store. But the RV park had quite a few sites. No no host, no manager. You just put the money in the envelope or whatever. Spend the night. But we're here to see statues. Should be right up this road. We end up back on uh, Highway I-94 Interstate. Okay, let's get trucking. Gotta like the greenery. I mean, it's just farmland forever. These poor guys this year, they've been suffering a lack of water though. 
pretty big drought. Uh, I spot something. Oh my goodness. Here goes a tractor into town. <laughs> Look at these things. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is going to be fun. Heck yeah. Alright, well. Let's pull in like we know someone. <laughs> Look at this. They got a gravel, picnic tables, everything here. The Tin family on the Enchanted Highway. They got a phone number you can do that story on over your phone pretty cool looks like ma pa and a kid <laughs> look at the pitchfork they started these in 1990 that retired school teacher He had the idea from the movie, The Field of Dreams. Build it and they will come. But look at this. Here's a good look at uh, Smoky Skies, of course. There's the town of Regent. You can see how small it is. And we're out in the middle of uh, North Dakota. The prairies in North Dakota. The closest big town would be Dickerson to the north where we end up up by I-94. If you look at it on the maps, you'll see it. But here's the road. We're going to get going on it. Well, we got six more of them to see. Should be a fun little drive. Well, I spot another one. Wow, look at the size of these things. A lot of cables running out. I mean, the winds up here scream. Oh my goodness. Well, let's pull in and get parked. Parking lot's kind of rough. Teddy Roosevelt rides again. Here we go. There's Teddy on his horse. And they got a stagecoach. Picnic tables. I mean, you can just sit here all day long. Watch the tractors and a couple cars go by. Actually, I've seen quite a bit of traffic. All out of state plates, too. They were right, built it, and they do come. But look at the size of that thing. It's way up there in the air. Pretty cool. Hello, Teddy. <laughs> Back on the road. Here we go. It's me and the cows out here. Uh, look at these bunch of birds I'll be darn look at the size what an effort went into making these things huh look at that farm up there all the trees surrounding it they got water. Well, let's check these guys out.
These are called pheasants on the prairie. Look at the detail on these things. Oh, they got a mesh on them so the wind blows through it. What? I mean, artistically, yes. Big steel poles cemented in the ground. You see a lot of signage about the Enchanted Hotel, so they're advertising it. But I don't think you have to advertise too heavily something like this. Too cool for school. A few little hills here and there, but look how flat. We can see the what the effect of the drought. Yeah, there's one big farm there. Well, what's this make it? Three down, four to go. Goes by pretty quick. Not too much traffic. The most of them are the people stopping and seeing these statues. Sculptures, I guess, not statues. Let's scope out this farm. <laughs> There's a big house on the prairie. Grain silos, barns, tractor out front. What a life, huh? Here we go. What are these? What is that? Those are fish. A whole bunch of, in a boat. <laughs> cool. Let's check these out. Time to go fishing in the prairie. So let's see, these guys here are called Fisherman's Dream on the Enchanted Highway. Got a little boat, even the water, look at this little fence of the, looks like water. The birds love this one, they're all up there happy. The attention to detail. Even the colors. I mean, these things got to live out here in some pretty harsh winters. Long winters. A lot of guide wires holding them up. Pretty good engineering, really. Huh. Pretty darn amazing. A lot of people getting selfies out here. All the cars I've seen have all been out of state plates from all over the country. <laughs> Including mine. Oh, be darn. Build it and they will come. That is true. Not too bad a road. Pretty flat and straight. Definitely RV friendly. I'm in no hurry either. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you 
never know what you're going to see popping over next hill. Grasshoppers. Yeah, they got the grasshoppers in the prairies, that's for sure. Looks a little greener up here. They must uh, they have irrigation. To be a farmer. Well, let's check out these guys. These guys are just named grasshoppers. Grasshopper on sunrise. The Enchanted Highway. Right here in beautiful North Dakota. What a great state this is. Looks like they used a ladder for his antennas there. <laughs> oh man. Even the legs, I mean all of it. A little feet on there. Experience a story. I can't play those because a lot of times they have copyrighted music in them. That's why I don't boot those things up. Otherwise I would. So long, grasshoppers. Another good stop. Very clean, all these sites. No trash. They got trash cans, picnic tables. You could make an entire day if you... Actually, you could stay down at that hotel, that Enchanted Castle Hotel. Or that RV park. Just make an entire day out of this thing. What do we have here? A little, looks like a little community. What's this on the phone? LaFour. Speed limit slowing down. Looks like this little, oh, what's this? What's that on the left? There's something historic. We gotta stop. All right. What is this thing? LaFour State Bank. Oh! That's what's left of their vault. The old vault to the bank. <laughs> My goodness. I can barely read that. That's where the bank stood. That's the vault. It used to hold the cash. They built them pretty good back then, huh? Cute little town. Big old church back there, too. You never know what you're going to find unless you explore. That's what RVing is all about. Small towns, back roads. There's a pretty big ag place here all kinds of big silos big farms these guys probably got thousands of acres they take care of Let's see according to the phone we got a few miles in between the next one here drive through some of this rolling beautiful North Dakota countryside There you go. There's the deer. Home on the range where the deer and the, what was it? Antelope play, huh? <laughs> Looks like a corral over there or something too.
This one's deer crossing at sunset on the Enchanted Highway. What's this? A maze. Amazing. Built for your enjoyment. The maze of the enchantments. Well, look at that. Just wander right through that thing, huh? Interesting. But these, look at the size of these ones. They tie them down with these huge guide wires. That is serious uh, steel beams cemented. I bet those anchors go way down in the ground. Holding these things down. Deer crossing at sunset. I bet there's a lot of them out here. These things will be out here forever. If you get a chance, you gotta come see these things. Well, we got one left to go see. This community up here is gonna be called, what, Gladstone. few houses up and around in here. Trees all happy and green. I-94 should be right up the road. Big old round hay bales out in the fields. Here's 94. Oh, I see them. They're off to the right. Camera's probably not picking it up. Cross over here. So if you think there's nothing to do in North Dakota, think again. There's all kinds of stuff to find. You just got to look for it a little bit. I'd say right down there where that motorhome just came out. We got to take that little road. Pickup coming in. A couple motorcycles going up. This must be it. Look at all the little poles, and they got eagles on them or birds. Oh, wow, look at it. I don't think those are eagles. We're going to find out. All right, these guys are called geese in flight. Here in Gladstone on I-94. So it represents the geese heading south. Head south in the winter. Go down to Quartzsite. <laughs> when it gets cold. Well, this school teacher that started this, what, 1990? Look how wide open North Dakota is. 1990, he started this 30 years ago, over 30. I bet who knows how many people have stopped, especially at these right here off the highway.
very incredible 30 mile journey. Makes your imagination go to just how he made them, the thought process, the amount of people have stopped and seen them. So that adage, build it and they will come, it is very true. Very, very true. All right, which way do I go? On I-94. Journey continues. Talk soon.